Hello everyone. I am about to read my Bible. <laughs> Have you read as yet today? Well, if you haven't read, would you like to join me? You are welcome to do so. If you don't have a Bible, you can listen in and do it prayerfully so that the Spirit of God can minister to you what He wants you to know from His Word as it is being read. So, I am reading the book of Genesis and I am on chapter 11. So, you can join me if you like as I continue to read the Word of God. So, are you ready? Here we go. And the whole earth was of one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name. Hmm. Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth these are the generations of Shem Shem was an hundred years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood and Shem lived after he begot Arphaxad five hundred years and begot sons and daughters. And our fox had lived five and thirty years and begot Selah. And our fox had lived after he begot Selah four hundred and three years and begot sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirty years and begot Eber. And Selah lived after he begot Eber four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and thirty years, and begot Peleg. And Eber lived after he begot Peleg four hundred and thirty years, and begot sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years, and begot Ruth. And Peleg lived after he begot Ru two hundred and nine years and begot sons and daughters. And Ru lived 
two and thirty years, and begat Sirach. And Ru lived after he begat Sirach two hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And Sirach lived thirty years, and begat Nahor. And Sirach lived after he begat Nahor two hundred and two hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years, and begat Tira. And Nahor lived after he begat Tira a hundred and nineteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And Tira lived seventy years, and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haram. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Or of the Chaldeans. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai. And the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter in law his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Thus ends the reading of Genesis chapter 11. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will join me as I read Genesis chapter 12. May the good Lord bless you.